Hi everyone and welcome to pa part one, well part one, maybe I might do two parts, of my review of the Canon EF 28mm f1.8 lens. I paid £390 for this from Clifton Cameras and it came this morning. Now I've just been outside in the back garden and been doing a little bit of testing. Everything, oops let me shift command out. Everything you're going to see now is a, a raw files out of the camera. So, and the ISOs turned up a little bit. Obviously, they're in the kitchen as well. Um, so, let's look. I have quickly flown through these, and I'll tell you now, it looks very impressive. Um, it's a gorgeous lens. I'll show you it later on. Um, but all you get in the box is the lens. You don't get anything else. It's about that big. It feels fantastic in your hand i'll pull it out on the second part and show you it um but the main thing is how does it perform well obviously it's got canon's usm motor in so it's ultra silent and ultra fast at focusing and it feels gorgeous in your hand it's not no toy um so let's take a look so here's the minimum focus distance focused around this part of the dummy and you can see it's nice and sharp um let's just Turn the, so the lens correction when you're shooting at f1.8 and I found out up to 2.8 you need to apply it because you do get a lot of chromatic aberration but I totally and utterly don't care about that Lightroom it's one click and it's gone so yeah if you look at 1.8 nice and sharp for ISO 800 um, the information's all here by the way so we'll now go to f2 you can really see 2 Two seems to be one eight. I'd avoid using if I could, but look at two. Two's two's great. Two and above, absolutely well usable. And I would use one eight. It is usable. Um, but you can see, let's just apply the lens correction on one eight, then apply it on two. It's not quite as bad on two. You could probably get away with it, but the chromatic aberration is there. Um, let's go to two five. Two five really sharpening up. Um, you look at the dummy some of this might be a little bit of motion blur if you look I shot it at 50th of a second focused on the M um, so we've got 1.8 let's zoom in and it's well usable you can see a bit of chromatic aberration around there so 1.8 but I mean it's it's expected um, F2.5 zoomed in at, focused on this face here around here and you can see razor sharp at 2.5 I'll just enable the lens connection you wouldn't even have to apply it there if you didn't want to although I've noticed you can see chromatic aberration on the edges um, let's just zoom in see if we can find a bit it's more visible outside in a minute of my sun there's a little bit of green there 1.8 you can definitely see the difference between 2.8 and 2.5 uh, and 1.8. Watch. Oops. Look, there you go. There's 2.5, there's 1.8. So 1.8's acceptable, but, I mean, it's like any lens, isn't it? Any lens that you shoot completely wide open is not as sharp as opening it up cup two-thirds of a stop. So, you know, that's not news. Here's a 1.8 here, focused in on this eye. No editing done. I mean, you can see, you can see all his eyebrow and eye. It's usable. What I found out with this lens, look at the lens correction there. What I found out with this lens is, I mean, as soon as you get to number uh, two, watch one eight. Look at me in his eyeball. You can just see me there. Look, watch two. Look, see. As soon as you get it to two, it's stonking. I mean, two's not even as sharp as two five, but two is. That is. In any shape or form, badass to me, F2. If I can shoot at F2, F2.2 and get nice clean images like that, as sharp as I mean, look at this. I'm a prime example in the centre of it. And let's see if we've got a 2.5. See, 2.5's missed. I think it's missed as that. Um, but I don't know if it's missed, because to be honest, what I found out is it didn't actually miss. It never seems to miss focus. Like the Nifty 50 can miss when you're wide on. It's Ethan were rocking all over. Going, oh, sun's in my eyes. So that, that 2.5 won't be. That just wants to lean. in. He'll have been moving like hell. See, look, look at that. Look at 2.8, watch. watch. Remember, two, two, oh, I've deleted the wrong one. I've deleted. Look at 2.8. Two razor, razor. Then you've got your F4. 
I mean, just really, you won't even have to sharpen that image any. Bit of battle distortion there. <laughs> but the, if you look, he's, he's got the wide angle shape on his head, and that's because of our at the minimum focus distance, which is like, Jesus, it's like that. <laughs> um, so all these were taken at the minimum focus distance, but even two eights. I mean, look at his eye. Really is sharp, this lens. This is where I think you can see a bit of chromatic aberration. Here's f2.2. Can you see it here? So if you apply the lens correction. But so that to get rid of that, I don't know if you know, but you click the little high dropper, hover over the pink, and just go bang, and it's gone. Zoom back out. And there's f2.2. Well acceptable. Obviously, the fence is slightly in focus as well, even though we're at f2.2. But there is separation between him and the background. Um, but yeah. Really, really cool. Um, let's go into here. This is... I'm going to zoom in here. I focused around this sticker. So there's 1.8. You can see 1.8 is usable, but watch when you get it up to 2.2. Two, two. Watch the difference. Look at 2.2. Two, two. Oops. Let's go 1.8, 2.2, two, two, 1.8. Can you see the difference on the 2.2? Two, two? Of course you can. 1.8. Oops. 1.8, 2.2, 1.8, 2.2. Two. Really does come in. As soon as you get it to two, bang. One eight's okay in a rail pickle, but a third of a stop, I don't reckon I'd ever need that. I reckon I could always shoot it at F2 if I had to. Then you go to two eight, which really does start to come onto song. Uh, F4. I mean, even one eight though. To be fair, if you're not pixel... I mean, Ken Rockwell did a review on this lens, and he said if you don't pixel peep, then look, that's a shot at F1.8. I mean, all we'd have to do is go to detail, sharpen it up a bit, um, add a little bit of clarity. And that would put some contrast on it, add some shadows, um, bring back the highlights, bring back the whites a bit, bring up some vibrance, put more clarity. You know, that there would pass, even at 1.8, if you had to do it. But 1.8, admittedly, is not fantastic, but it's okay. What I found out, and I'm going to say it again, is that when I've had the Sigma 50mm 1.4, even at f2, it would hit and miss on focus. The Canon just seems to do it all the time. I know I focused here on this car's eyeball here. If you look at that, there's a 2.8. It's just amazing. There's your 1.8. 2.8. 1.8. 8. You can see 1.8, but watch. I think this is an f2. So definitely, as soon as you get to F2 and F2.2, it, it's mint. And at 2.8, it's awesome. 2.2. Two. All focused here, by the way. Let's zoom out and have a look now instead of pixel peeping. F1.8, focused on the Malteser, uh, whatever this says. Um, and then we went to 2.8, 2.2. Eight, two. If you watch F1.8, you can clearly see, but it just, like I said, it, it doesn't miss focus. So that's a bonus, because that's the big problem you have when you're shooting F2. When I've had Sigmas and stuff, the sh they're as sharp as the Canon when they get it right, but they don't fucking get it right. You'd have took 10 shots to get this right at F2. Right, this is stood away and focused on this here, on every shot. So if we go to 1.8, bit soft. Would do, though. I mean, look, again, bit of clarity. Probably a lot of clarity, to be honest, but a bit of contrast. Bring back the highlights, touch. Bring back the whites. Uh, bring up some detail. I mean, I don't really have to do this, but it is acceptable in a pickle. But, admittedly, if we just jump to F2, I mean, I've edited that. I'll have to bloody go back and shift command there with that now, water. Obviously trying to... Sh right, can you see it? Look, as soon as you get to F2, you start to get some clarity. Then when you get to F2, too, it really starts to sing. So I'm not going to bore you any longer. Let's have a look at an F4. Really razor sharp at F4. And like I say, it doesn't miss focus. Let's get away, right? F1.8, focused on this little blob here. You know, it's acceptable. F1.8, focused on the eyeball here. F2 focused on this battery right here. And you can see it just don't miss focus. And that was the first shot. Bang. One shot here again. 
Oh no, I've took two look, but but you'll see they're both in focus. F two two in focus. F two A. It'll be in focus this watch. My daughter sat <laughs> now ignore these pictures. But this this is at a really slow shot speed focused on this eyeball. F two ISO six forty fiftieth of a second. And if you look at that that left eye, it's cleanly in focus. F2 again, in focus. I think I focused on Ethan on this one. Yeah, Ethan's eyes, look at him, nicely in focus. <laughs> F18, I don't know where we focused. Oh, focused on Dakota. See, F18 there, in half bad, you know. F2, my daughter's eye, cleanly in focus. Windows on right hand side. F2 again. Can you see how it's not missing focus ever? These are just at first shots. Now let's try F2.5. Yep, F2.5. You can really see some clarity in that one. You even see Ethan getting a bit sharper. Look at his top. Bang. My son, F2. Really close to him here now. Look at that. Look at that eye. So, um, no editing done to these. A um, bit of chromatic aberration, which you would mo remove, but the sharpness is stonking, and the way it's focused every time, that's why I went for a Canon. Sorry if you can hear people talking. Okay, so yeah, um, the Canon 28mm f1.8 USM, it's just as good as the 85, if you ask me. It don't miss focus. These are my first ever shots that I've taken, and I've got to admit, they're impressive. Really, really impressive. As soon as you get to f2, it's... Fantastic, absolutely usable. It is a wide angle lens as well because it's 28 mil. Um, and the lens correction, the little bit of barrel distortion and chromatic aberration that you get. I mean, Jesus Christ, it's a matter of dropping this. I mean, on all of them, I could just command A and hit the enable lens correction and sync that. And every one of them's now got the lens correction on command D. And that's that, all done. All sweet. Um, I'm just going to quickly... Am I not? I, I don't usually do this, but I'm going to do it now. Sorry about the talking you can hear downstairs, but I have got kids. Let's just actually... Can we go... I'm going to try and go full screen if I can remember how to do it. We'll just go a bit bigger now. And what we're going to do is, without pixel peeping, we're going to look at the images as you should really be looking at them. This is a 24-inch screen. Right, so uh, F1.8. Forget the shutter speed and the ISO. F1.8, F2... F1.2, F2, F2.5, um, F1.8, focused on the M, F2.5, focused in the mouth, the big smile in the middle, F1.8, focused, you can definitely see that that's a bit softer there, um, all focused on the left hand eyeball, F2.8, you know what I mean, minimum focus distance light, nearly touching his nose with lens as well, F2.2, I mean what's wrong with that for a full length shot at F2.2? At 500 of a second. You know, I could shoot that in house in really shitty light and get a lovely shot. You can see lens correction coming in. Look, when we're clicking on them, you see it, watch. Click. Look at that, F28. F18. F1.8, a little bit soft that, surely. But you can see the difference. Look at that, F2. I'm really glad now. I'm so glad that this lens has reported back like this. I mean, even that at 1.8, to be fair, if you're not pixel peeping, what's wrong with that? Focused on pig, it's perfectly perfectly acceptable. There, F2, focused on the second battery in from the right. Second battery all the time. You see, these are all the first shots as well. So it seems to be that you, if you put it to F2, if you take two shots, one of them will be sharp, as long as you aren't wobbled. And that's what I like. When my Sigma 50mm 1.4, I might take 10 shots, and one might be acceptable. With, but with this, in a couple of shots, you get one nice and sharp, which is... That's why I've gone Canon and paid a lot of money for it. I could have saved 160 quid and got the Sigma 30mm 1.4, but I just know it'll fucking miss... Oops, sorry about swearing. I know it'll miss focus. This, look at this. I mean, look at his eyes there. F2, you can see his eyes zinging. 
That really sharp. No sharpening on at all. Focused on my daughter. Focused on there. Look at that. F2. See, 1 8, you can see her eyes look a little bit soft, but watch F2. Bang. The only thing that looks sharp there is her eyes. F2 again. F2 5 now. There's my son. Focus again. Right. And we're back to the beginning. Right, okay. That concludes my part one review of the Canon 28mm EF 1.8 lens. I must admit, looking at it so far, I'm absolutely delighted. And the build quality is bang, A OK. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe.